नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं शिवानंद उपाध्याय आपका स्वागत करता हूं हमारे YouTube चैनल केमिस्ट्री अकेडमी फॉर आई टी जे एन नीट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फुलर इन विच इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बक मिनिस्टर फुलर इन विच इज सी सिक्सटी सॉकर बॉल बिफोर गोइंग टू दीडियो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल आइए डिस्कस करते हैं ये बक मिनिस्टर फुलरिन है इसमें इसका फॉर्मूला है C60 इसमें जितने भी ये ब्लैक बॉल्स हैं दीज ब्लैक बॉल्स आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग वन कार्बन एटम सो वन कार्बन एटम यू कैन सी हियर दैट दो तरह की रिंग्स फॉर्म हो रही हैं इसमें एक है हेक्सागोनल रिंग दिस रिंग इज हेक्सागोनल रिंग देन दिस रिंग इज पेंटागोनल रिंग सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ साइक्लिक रिंग्स इन दिस soccer ball one is pentagon and the other is hexagon this hexagonal ring if you see the hexagonal ring is surrounded by a pentagon then it is surrounded by a hexagon then again it is surrounded by a pentagon then hexagon and pentagon so this hexagon is having six edges at alternate position there is a uh, pentagon and there is a hexagon when we are discussing about this pentagon this pentagon has five edges but you can see that each edge is shared by a hexagon so each pentagon is surrounded by six hexagon and we can also count the number of total number of edges in this right so when we are discussing total number of edges it is a very simple thing this carbon atom is making three bonds right this is if i am taking this carbon atom first bond second bond and third bond so each carbon atom is making three bonds there are total 60 carbon atom so 60 into 3 is 180 but what we have to take care because when i am counting the number of bonds for this carbon atom and this carbon atom this is the same bond i have count twice so what should be the formula that is equal to the number of carbon atoms into 3 divided by 2 so 60 into 3 divided by 2 so that is 90 90 is the number of edges in buckminster fullerin and we can say that in each any buckminster fullerin having the formula c60 plus 6n where the value of n is either 0 2 3 4 it cannot be 1 for all these we can say that the number of pentagons will be 12 but the number of hexagons will vary with the change in the value of n so in buckminster fullerin we can say that the pentagon numbers are 12 and 20 hexagons are there so how this buckminster fullerin can be obtained if i take a sheet like structure of uh, graphite because graphite is made up of these type of hexagonal structure now in place of this hexagon if i replace some hexagon by pentagon then there is formation of curve if it is only hexagon then it has a sheet like structure if some of the hexagon like here this is hexagon here also it was hexagon then it has a sheet like structure but now when this hexagon is replaced by a pentagon then it is forming a curvature and because of this pentagon it is going to form a soccer ball so in order to form a soccer ball like buckminster at least uh the number of pentagons are fixed and that is equal to 12 in number but the number of hexagons can vary on varying the number of total number of carbon atoms each carbon atom here is forming three bonds right so if you can see here that this is a pentagon right each pentagon is forming all the bonds in pentagon is single bond so if i am talking about this hexagon so this is a pentagon this is a single bond but this bond shared between two hexagon is a pi bond so this is a pentagon again so this is a single bond but this bond is shared between two hexagon so it is a pi bond so at alternate position pi bonds is there so we can say that each carbon atom in this is sp2 hybridized it is an aromatic compound but it is an aromatic substance not compound it is an aromatic substance but the difference is that it is non planar in nature right because this is three dimensional geometry it is non planar aromatic substance hope uh, this is useful for you 
If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe our channel and share between your friends. Thank you.